Let's hear it. Yes. Gentlemen, please remove your hats, and if you are able, please stand for the playing of our national anthem. Thank you. You may be seated. Good evening. My name is Todd Garrison, principal of Greenwood High School. And what a beautiful night. Class of 2020, you made it. And what a ride it's been. But here you are, together. We are so proud of this class because of the path you have taken. We believe the class of 2020 will go down in history as one of the most well-rounded and well-prepared classes. How fitting we're on a football field because we recognize it took blood, sweat, and tears for you to be sitting here tonight. Saying that, the last five months, you've been a model of grace, patience, and resiliency. Yes, you could complain. I'm sorry. Yes, you could complain, but you didn't. You had more of a reason to give up, but you didn't. You stood strong. You finished strong. You set a path that classes behind you will follow for years to come. I'm proud to be your principal. We honor you for your accomplishments and for overcoming all the obstacles that stood before you. Let's have a round of applause for these fine young men and women. On July 14, 2019, Greenwood High School lost our beloved junior English teacher, Ms. Polly Whipperman. The class of 2020 was the last class to have Ms. Whipperman and they have asked for everyone in attendance tonight to hold a moment of silence in her honor. Thank you. Before we begin the celebration, I would like to provide you an agenda and some guidelines for tonight's program. We will begin tonight with student speeches. I will then follow with some introductions and finally, Mr. Craig Bruns, Assistant Principal, will lead in the presentations of diplomas. At this time, I would like to introduce Emily Chatham, the Class 2020 Vice President, who will give the welcome speech. Good evening. I would like to welcome parents, family members, friends, teachers, and administrators to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. Tonight is a very special evening for our class 
and we are so glad that you are here or watching online to celebrate with us. We are thankful that our school was able to put on a graduation ceremony and give us a proper celebration. At the beginning of the school year, we were all looking forward to the special activities and long-standing traditions that come with being a senior at GHS. Thankfully, the majority of the year brought a lot of great memories during Friday Night Lights, choir and band concerts, our two homecoming weeks, and a boys basketball season that brought home a sectional title. Although our senior year got cut short, we are grateful that we have had such an amazing community to honor and celebrate our class. We want to specifically thank everyone who helped out with the senior yard signs, the senior parade, the senior formal, and the senior Facebook page that adopted many of us seniors. Because of our thoughtful community, our class was honored in so many ways, and we were able to end the year on a, with positive memories and closure. But most importantly, we want to thank our amazing teachers and administrators for adapting to a new teaching style while still continuing to support us throughout the remainder of the year. Once again, thank you all for coming tonight to celebrate with the class of 2020 as we end this chapter of our lives and begin the next one. Now, please help me welcome my best friend and our senior class president, Katrina Stanger. Thank you. Thank you everyone again for joining us today to celebrate this momentous occasion. My name is Katrina Stenger and I have had the honor of being the president of the class of 2020 this past school year. We are a very unique class and we have accomplished a lot in the last four years. As Emily mentioned, from our sports teams to the fine arts to our many clubs and organizations and of course our academics, no one can deny that we made our mark in a positive way. I think most can agree that the journey to get to this ceremony today has not been an easy one. Our senior year did not go the way we expected. We lost a beloved teacher and mentor in Ms. Whipperman before the year even started. And I know that a lot of us would not be walking across this field today without her guidance in and out of the classroom. Most of us were born under the shadow of a post 9-11 world. So it was only fitting that we'd be graduating during the first major pandemic since 1918. The loss and adjustments we have experienced are heartbreaking and the sudden changes in the way we had to learn were stressful to say the least. We didn't get to have a senior spirit week or an honors day. Our spring athletes lost their final season of their high school sports careers and we didn't get to have a last regular school day to say goodbye to all of our favorite underclassmen, teachers, and the building that we had spent so much of our time in. A major chunk of our lives was taken away from us but all of the things that we will never be able to recreate will forever be a part of our story. Our class quote this year is from Michael Josephson, and it says, take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. And I think this is perfectly fitting. As we all go off on our separate paths, we know one thing to be true. We can adapt to anything, and we have learned to enjoy the journey. As we prepare to embark upon our next chapter away from Greenwood High School, I would like to leave you with what I feel are two important lessons from our experiences during the COVID-19 pandemic. Number one, never take anything for granted. It has become very clear to us that life will not always go the way we plan or want it to. We never could have predicted these last four months and all of the craziness that came with them. Year after year, we have seen classes come through the high school, experience the highs and lows, and then walk across the gym in May to receive their diplomas. We took for granted that our experience would look exactly like theirs, and when we first realized that it would not, we were heartbroken and felt robbed. Although it still feels like a loss, we have learned to live in the moment and make the best out of a bad situation. 
Our administrators and community have worked hard to allow us to still be recognized for our accomplishments and to close this chapter in a meaningful way. And now we get to say that we're the first class at Greenwood to have graduation in July and on the football field, and that's pretty cool if you ask me. The second lesson is to be prepared to respond creatively to the curveballs that life will inevitably throw at us. We have learned from our community, parents, and peers how to make lemonade out of lemons. From the adopt a senior page, to the yard signs, to the many virtual events held in our honor, we have discovered that where there's a will, there's a way. We are the class of 2020. It seems appropriate that clear vision is a part of our makeup. We've seen the world at its worst, we've seen the world in heartbreak, and we've seen the world come together in a time of need. Our unique experiences have cultivated our class to become a catalyst for good in this world, and I'm so excited to see what all of our futures hold. Class valedictorian and salutatorian are academic honors awarded to the top two seniors with the highest grade point average. We are proud to announce the 2020 valedictorian is Megan Johns. The 2020 salutatorian is Bryce Gilbert. At this time, Bryce will give the salutatory address. How's my hair look? Is it good? Okay. Graduation is always a special time in our lives, and luckily, due to my very apparent narcissism, I'm lucky enough to give a speech during the ceremony we place so much importance on, but will likely forget most of the details about in the years to come. We spend nearly 13 years learning and memorizing facts about the arts and sciences, but school sometimes teaches lessons outside of these areas. Now comes the part where I tell you a short anecdote and many of you phase in and out of the story, but I promise it's not that bad. I was recently mowing my grandparents' lawn and, because I'm a nerd, I stumbled across a podcast that discussed a question about the famous scientist Richard Feynman posed to his students at the beginning of every physics course in order to get them interested in science. The question was essentially along the lines that if there was a world-ending event and you had the option to pass on the most important information to the next generation in the fewest words, what would those words be? Now, some of you are thinking one of two things at this current moment. The first being, wow, he's only been speaking for a minute and he's already bored me out of my mind. Or second, where well, you're probably drifting off thinking what your answer would be to the question. Either way, you can probably pay attention again because it's starting to get to the important part. Many of the answers given by scientists to this question often included some form of the scientific method that we learn in school where people should ask questions and find answers in a reliable and unbiased way. Biologists would pass on the basic information of DNA and its structures, but other scientists would pass on the atomic hypothesis where atoms are made and they attract and repel one another. We've now spent nearly 13 years in school and if I've learned anything, is that sometimes facts and information aren't always the best answer. The response has never included the fact that humans are social creatures and rely on the help of others, and that the best form of learning come from failing over and over again. Discoveries are often found by a team of people, more than just by one person, and they fail several times, but they always learn from their mistakes. Sports and clubs require social activities, we're missing a shot or breaking down as a team and rebuilding are a way to improve. Obviously, our soccer team is yet to learn that lesson, but it'll come. We also have an impact on others. When someone is in need of help, there's often someone there to offer help. It is this realization that I had that I, entirety, uh, that I intend to carry with me for the rest of my life. I wouldn't be here where I am today without the help of a mother that used to work 60 hours a week to support and especially feed me for my sporting endeavors 
or my loving grandparents who used to offer their home to me every day after school where they also graciously provided meals for me every single day. I would never have chosen a STEM field without the enthusiasm and patience of teachers at the Greenwood, and we wouldn't be here today without the faculty and staff who have graciously granted us an in-person graduation. We learn from failure and have an impact on those around us every day. So my answer to the question about what the one sentence should be to pass on to the creatures that survive of the cataclysmic event would be that everything is made of atoms, which are constantly moving, attracting, and repelling each other. But also that failure is the key to learning, and every individual has an impact on those around them. I believe we all have a purpose to improve our society in many small ways. High school has taught me to ask myself this one question every day, and I encourage you all to do the same. What am I going to do today and every day to improve the lives of others? And without further ado, I introduce to you the 2020 GHS valedictorian, Megan Johns. Good evening, staff, family, friends, those of you joining us online, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. It is an honor to stand before you as this year's valedictorian. In middle school, I told everybody that if I was ever in the running to be valedictorian, I would drop down to third to avoid giving a speech, but here I am, and what a journey it has been. At the conclusion of our freshman year, I was told I was in first, and for the rest of my high school years, I was paranoid that talking about my rank would somehow make me lose it. In the words of Michael Scott, I'm not superstitious, but I am a little stitious. I am thankful to be standing before you all in person to deliver this speech. I wanna begin with a few thank yous. First, thank you to our administrative staff for always making decisions with students in mind and being active in our educations. Next, thank you to the teachers for going beyond being just our teachers. The intentionality they display in fostering student success does not go unnoticed. Lastly, I wanna thank the families who gave us the support we needed over the past 18 years. Thank you specifically to my parents for giving me the freedom to find my own mo motivation to be successful while also stepping in to offer advice and aided when needed. Without the support of all the aforementioned parties, we would not be sitting before you graduating and closing this chapter of our lives. As much as I would like to make this ceremony feel like any other year, I cannot go without addressing the struggles of the world beyond this stage. However, instead of dwelling on the struggles this pandemic has created, I think it's important to reflect upon the many lessons it has taught us. As we walked out of school on March 12th, none of us expected that to have been our last day but uncertainty is a part of our lives that we can either resent or capitalize on. I believe the most overarching lesson to be learned is this. The world we live in is ever-changing, and the most successful people will be the ones who can find a new normal in the most abnormal of situations. The best advice I've ever received was that you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable, and I believe it's relevant in many areas of our lives. The advancement of our country and our world depends on our ability and willingness to leave behind what's familiar in search of innovation. It's difficult to inspire this in type of ingenuity, but I believe our teachers have. As many times as we denied that high school was preparing us for, for the real world, I now reflect back and realize what they meant all those times they claimed to be improving our problem-solving skills. While it may seem that this virus has only taken away from us, there is much to be gained in the lessons it has provided. Because of the year we are graduating in, we are in a unique position to show how well prepared we are in handling adversity and making the most of the opportunities we do have. No matter what your future holds, I encourage you all to continually seek out situations that may be far beyond your comfort zone, but will ultimately enhance your life as well as the lives around you. We are going our separate ways in our pursuits of different goals, but we can find commonality in the ambitious attitudes we bring with us. 
Before closing this speech, I want to remind my fellow graduates that this isn't just an important day for us. Our graduation is a big day for those who have supported and taught us during these years of our lives. Do not forget to thank all the friends and family that have encouraged you along the way. Today is a day to remember and be thankful for all the teachers, mentors, and coaches who have dedicated their time to help us be here. To all the people who have helped us reach this milestone in our lives, thank you. To the class of 2020, I congratulate you on this accomplishment and wish you all the best as we move forward in our pursuits of success. Let's give a round of applause for our, our student speakers. Great job. Thank you. Tonight, I would like to recognize some special groups who have made outstanding achievements at Greenwood High School. The first special group tonight consists of students who completed an academic honors diploma. Students who earned the academic honors diploma at Greenwood High School have completed a minimum of 47 credits. They never received a grade below C minus, and their overall and their GPA was 3.0 or higher. We are proud of the 80 students who completed these requirements this year. Would all the students receiving the Academic Honors Diploma please stand and be recognized. Thank you. The President's Award for Academic Excellence is the highest group award we can bestow for academic success. The President's Award for Academic Excellence is given to seniors with a GPA of 4.2 or higher and a score of at least 1330 or higher on the SAT or a score of 29 on the ACT. Would the 10 winners of the President's Award for Academic Excellence please stand and be recognized. Thank you. National Honor Society membership is based on the excellent in the four pillars of National Honor Society. These include character, leadership, scholarship, and service. Would the four senior members of this year's National Honor Society please stand and be recognized. Students who attend Central Nine Career Center are eligible for membership in the National Technical Honor Society. Would those six seniors please stand? Thank you. The Governor's Work Ethic cert Certificate is awarded to students who have successfully displayed strong work habits for the, and will foster success in higher education and the workplace. They have completed curriculum related to integrity, motivation, professionalism, and adaptability, and teamwork. These students have met the following standards, 98% attendance, a cumulative GPA of 2.0 or higher, one or no discipline referrals, and completed six hours of community service. With the 35 seniors earning the governor's work certificate, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Perhaps the most significant and rewarding sign of a job well done is financial payback received by those who have worked hard and excelled in and out of the classroom. This year, the class of 2020 earned a total of $2 million in scholarships. Would our scholarship winners please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Greenwood High School graduates have a strong tradition of serving and protecting our country in all branches of the military. On May 28th, Greenwood High School recognized four of our seniors leaving for boot camp, and those students are unable to be here tonight. At this time, with those additional students in the class of 2020 who have plans to join the military, 
Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Before we present the diplomas, I would like to recognize the Greenwood Community School Board members. Would the following board members please stand and be recognized? Mr. Steve Moan, Mr. Jack Napier, Mrs. LaDawn Weston, Mr. Mike Metzger, and Mr. Brian Ford. I would also like to introduce our administra administrative staff in attendance tonight. Assistant Principal, Mr. Craig Bruns, Mrs. Karen Bush, Director of Guidance, Mrs. Lisa Lau, and our Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Kent Deconic. I think it's the first time I've called you Mr. and not Dr. Dr. Kent Deconi. Here we go. Greenwood High School has a rich tradition that personalizes graduation for our students. Each student is permitted to request a Greenwood community staff member or retiree to present them their diploma. Unfortunately, our presenters are not with us tonight, but I would like to recognize our presenters this evening. You can find their names in the commencement program. Let's give a round of applause for all the adults that helped shape the lives of our 2020 graduates. Thank you. All right, we are at the end of the program. At this time, I would like for Mr. Craig Bruns to come forward to read the name of our graduates. Megan, Amelia, Johns. Bryce, Timothy, Gilbert. Katrina, Nicole, Stanger. Emily, Ann, Chatham. Kenley. Joe Wren, Mahan, Spencer, Davis, Aaron, Antonio, Enrique, Acuna, Kyra, Marie, Atkins, Toby, Allen, A.G., Omar, Awach, Cole, Robert, Albertson, Eric, Matthew, Alexander, Keith, Antoine, Alford, Abigail, Nicole, Alfrey, Tiana, Ray, Allard, Amaya, Marie, Allen, Caleb, Stephen, Allure, Ariane, Michelle, Alvarado, Garrido, Julia, Marie, Aruda, Alexa, Diane, Ashmore, Madison, Elizabeth, Barrett, 
Samuel, Lee, Bass, Joseph, John, Bassler, Kaylin, Marissa, Bates, Holly, Lauren, Beach, Nicholas, Antonio, Benitez, Zachary, Ryan, Betts, Daniel, Edward, Bierman, Damian, Michael, Bert, Jacob, Allen, Bishop, Brandon, Owen, Blake, Toby, Alexander, Blake, Catherine, Lee, Blystone, Alexander, Kenneth, Bockelman, Matthew, Garrett, Bogus, Taylor, Ann, Bull, Jacob, Dean Wheatley, Bowles, Mason, Lee, Vocal, Taylor, Jolyn, White, Joseph, Imami, Brazelton, Chase, Sydney, Brooks, Carly, Ann, Brown, Chase, Montgomery, Brown, Jalen, Edward, Brown, Elena, Faith, Birch, Sarah, Elizabeth, Burns, Ashley, Nicole, Buster, Devin, Anthony, Campbell, Nicholas, Austin, Carlson, Noah, Patrick, Carol, Eduardo, Jacob, Castro, Christina, Lynn, Chalman, Richard, Lee, Chapel, Madison, Elaine Marie, Chipwood, Sullivan, Michael Allen, Cisco, Dalton, Joseph, Clark, Jaden, Nicholas, Kleitz, Mystique, Angel, Cologne, Tyler, David, Koppel, Caitlin, Abigail, Corliss, Sebastian, Nanas, Cornejo, Ashley, Nicole, Cornelius, Jacob, H.E., Koss, Jacqueline, Marie, Couch, Belladonna, Megan, Cox, Lindsay, Marie, Cox, Michael, Alan David, Cox, Kayla, Noel, Crawshaw, Cameron, Matthew, Crick, Delaney, Elise, Crump, Sheldon, Robert, Curtis, Matthew, Tyler, Darnell, Elijah, Gail, Davis, Emma, Riley, Davis, Blake, Ryan, Deer, Nolan, Thomas, Denbo, 
Jenna, Ellie, Daunt, Noah, Jacob, Dixon, Gabriel, Quinn, Doherty, Gavin, Michael, Dowling, Dylan, Stephen, Drews, Toriana, Jade, Dewerson, Nicholas, Owen, Duffy, Ava, May, Edwards, Connor, Morris, Epler, Abraham, Hart, Forrest, Caleb, Ray, Foster, Jocelyn, Monique, Garcia, Seth, Enrique, Garcia, Gunner, Brian, Garrison, Laura Lee, Jean, Gilmore, Cameron, Drake, Glessner, Allison, Brianna, Glidden, Jose, Alexis, Gonzalez, Avery, Kay, Graham, Ariana, Nicole, Gross, Harry, King, Harden, Zachary, Brian, Harris, Haley, Michelle, Harrison, Delilah, Marie, Hayes, Kiersey, Sky, Heisinger, Kyle, Luis, Hensley, Simon, Paul, Hensley, Alexander, Hernandez, Vasquez, Elizabeth, Rose, Hess, Elias, Jason, Leo, Hicks, Victoria, Grace, Height, Boy, Siang, Ung, Bryce, Luther, Hoffman, Jacob, Elijah, Houston, Michelle, Elizabeth, Humble, Isabel, May, Hunt, Ali, Jill, Hassung, Madison, Renee, Hire, Bryce, Allen, Imol, Sierra, Juanita, Jackson, Sifa, Gosa, Kakonga, Joel, Fitzgerald, Kell, Joseph, Stewart, Keller, Edward, Wayne, Kingery, Aliyah, Mackenzie, Kirby, Jessica, Lynn, Kierstad, Rachel, Ann, Knight, Ethan, Joseph, Kresig, Aaron, Michael, Lackey, Noah, Alan, Joe, Linville, Edward, Rios, Lomelli, Jordan, Connolly, Lott, Anna, Elizabeth, Lowe, Yale, Munoz, Lugo, Megan, Michelle, Malloy, 
Maria Michelle Marquez. Josue Martinez Cruz. Preston Hughes Marunde. Kane Allen Madison. Joy Marie Mays. Caitlin Joy McCormick. Krista Lee McCray. Zoe Ann Mageha. Aliyah Madison McGowan. Dalton William McLean. Kirsten Nicole Middleton. Ashlyn Nicole Miller. Cecil Wayne Milligan. Chloe Marie Milne. Caitlin Nicole Mink. Eleni Alejandra Montalvo Martinez. Bailey Aaron Montgomery. Italia Sofia Moreno Vergara. Van La Moon. Brenton Joseph Myrie. Jasmine Nicole Nance. Emily Christine Newton. Kyle Finhu Nguyen. Jalen David Meese. Hannah Marie Nixon. Brandon Kevin Normant. Charles Vernon Newt. Abigail Rose Lee Osman. Ruben Palos. Jackson Wayne Paris. Tyler Jackson Pendigraph. Angelina Lay Pennington. Marjorie May Pfeiffer. Evan Donald Pine. Ethan Ryan Price. Jalen Alexander Price. Dominique Elizabeth Proctor. Ryan Alexander Pruitt. Jeremy Wayne Puckett. Russell Connor Pollen. Kobe Richard Pyra. Ian Jonathan Raker. Luke Stephen Raker. Jaden Christian Randolph. Oliver Andrew Cedric Rao. Jacob Douglas Reagan. Leah Mackenzie Reese Scott. Macy Ann Renfro. Gavin Connery Reddig. Jaylee Deanna Richards. Ivy Ray Reimer. Bryson Joseph Robinson. Ariana Margarita Rodriguez. Jenna Faith Rawlings. Luke Allen Roscoe. Connor Stark Ross. 
Michaela, Neve, Marie, Ross, Joshua, Wade, Rugenstein, Tarawanshi, Rosvizo, Jennifer, Del Carmen, Sanchez, Lau, Rim, Senga, Kristen, Leslie, Sawin, Alexis, Marie, Schellinger, Madison, Nicole, Schmidt, Charles, Douglas, Scott, Giovanni, Manuel, Sebastian, Rachel, May, Shepard, Colin, Andrew, Short, Hamdi, Ia, Sidi, Edward, Dean, Simpson, Eric, Charles, Simpson, Lily, Grace, Skeen, Scott, Michael, Sledge, Kaylin, Nicole, Smith, Kaylor, Blake, Smith, Eric, James, Snyder, Benjamin, Michael, Sobere, Mackenzie, Lee, Soper, Grayson, Paul, Spicer, Jalen, Michael, Citron, Maya, Ann, Steele, Sarah, Michelle, Stevenson, Victoria, Lynn, Stout, Evan, Joseph, Strau, Giovanni Efrain Tello Vasquez, Macy Daniela Terhune, Lindsay Tevalon, Skylar Dawn, Daisy Louise Thomas, Justine Marie Tucker, Marissa Gabrielle Turner, Kylie Morgan Tuttle, Logan David Van Blarkham, Evan Quinton Vaughn, Jasmine Vaught, Savannah Yvonne Vermillion, Dawson, Stephen, Vogel, John, Clayton, Waldschmidt, Justin, Thomas, Walker, Emily, Grace, Walls, Mallory, Luann, Watson, Taylor, Lynn, Watson, Riley Lynn Weber, McKenna Nicole Widener, Macy Joe West, Zachary Alexander Wettstein, Noah Douglas Wilham, Tariana Renique. Williams, Alexandra Faye Wilson, Kyle Noah Winger, Jalen Michael Winters, Wee Jean Sue Untal Sue, Carissa Brianne Yarnell. 
Connor, Mikkel, Jaeger. Joshua, Cole, Yoakum. Destiny, Nicole, York. Leslie, Vanessa, Zaragoza. Miguel, Angel, Zorro. Joseph, Jonathan, Zimmerman. Josiah, George, Zimmerman. All right, let's give our graduates one more round of applause. All right, with the class of 2020, please rise. Superintendent Dr. Koenig and 2020 class president Katrina Stanger, please come forward. Dr. DeKonick, I certify these students have met or exceeded all graduation requirements. Seniors, congratulations. And before I pronounce your graduates, I do want to ask you to express your appreciation to Mr. Garrison and the high school administration. You don't realize the amount of work and effort they took and went through to have you be able to have a graduation. When, when this came up, Mr. Garrison said, the high school student seniors leadership team want to have a live graduation. They've asked me to do all we can to have a live graduation. And tonight, Mr. Garrison and the administration uh, followed through on that promise. Please give them a round of applause. With that said, Katrina, you ready? I pronounce you graduates of Greenwood Community High School.
Thank you.